of all of the One Design classes in the Solent, the fleet that really stands out is the XOD fleet. It's consistently the biggest fleet out here throughout the summer. It's a remarkable boat, and I've been sailing today with James McGill and Jay Devonshire on their uh, XOD, and we had a fantastic time. But the, the question on my mind, mm. James, is why is the XOD such a popular boat? Firstly, it's a one design. It can accommodate any age. I started in this boat, funnily enough, at age 14. Um, and it, out there, we have people from 80 down to 15, 20. And so it can take anybody. You don't have to be too athletic. It's a, okay, it's a slow boat, but it's boat for boat. Um, they're easily maintained, there's nothing tricky about them. They're tricky to sail, and it, that is the challenge. And you, yeah. you said you started when you were when you were 15. Dare yeah. I ask how old you are now? 74. That's pretty good going. Yes, right. That's and funnily enough, I crewed for the person who used to own this boat, for sheer chance. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and Jay, you've been sailing them for a long time as well. When did you start? Well, about 65. 1965, when there were still fairly old old boats, not quite cotton sails, but as, as I remember, we had a different spinnaker rig, which was, which was very old-fashioned. But a, a lot of people sort of move on from class to mm. class, but mm. you're still in it, and lots of other people well, are. Well, I've come back to it. Yeah. I started oh, as, a, as a youngster, and I'm, I'm back in it in my sort of dotage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've all been around the houses, all around I, the boats. Yeah. I think the other, the other big factor for the class is that it, it sailed in five different locations. It's a club raced class and the club fleets are the strength of it. We come together at Cow's Week as a, as a championship. But each club has 20, 30 boats mm -hmm. racing, of whom you, you'll get 15 out midweek or Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon, 20. Really good fleet racing. And, and because you sail as, a, as a, a, a class in a club, everybody knows each other, people stand the behaviors better, the camaraderie is better. And that's, that's very important for a class. I think the classes you've seen come and go in the solo. They haven't had a strong club base. They've, they've just come, you know, come together for yeah. a speedy racing and they disappear again. So it keeps, it keeps the standard high it's consistently, yeah. yeah. And you were saying to me earlier on today about how actually the average age is starting to come down as well. We've got a lot mm -hmm. of younger sailors. Oh, yes, yes. What's attracting them? Because there's plenty of high-speed plastic one, one design, fantastic, one design, really. Design, yes. And pl pl plastic boats, they come and go, don't they? After a few years, they're a bit soft, and you have to get a new one. Well, these you don't. You keep them. They like the speed. They like the thrills. But then, when they get a bit older, they <laughs> like. It doesn't matter. They go four knots. Yeah. But there's knots. a huge kudos. We're doing well in the next oh, yeah. isn't it? Oh, I mean, it's it is. a high standard. A tough fleet to yeah, say. They're tough on the water and nice on the shore. Yeah, I found them a bit tough on the water. Actually, the solo looks like a much, much bigger place from from that. Well, thank you very much, guys, for taking me out. It was quite an experience. It's taken a while to get on one, but I'm so pleased I did. Well, I hope you come again. I will do. I will do. And actually, coming again, I can see why. Even though I've only raced it for one day, I can see why this is such an appealing class. I can see why it's so addictive.